What's up, everybody? Welcome to some Gonti Grand Larceny. Hope you're ready for this Black Friday today. We're going to steal some stuff, put it in our pocket, walk out that door, say, hey, what's yours is mine. <laughs> I'm taking this now. It's mine. Playing as Child of Alara. Cool. Let's get Gonti back. Where, Gonti, where are you? Oh, there you are. He's hiding behind sculpting still. Come on, Gonti. Um, we have one swamp. Frexian Arena. Man, if we had two swamps, I'd keep on this one. But with Hedonist Trove, um, does not sound that fun. Let's go and mulligan. Okay, yeah, we can make this work. Hopefully we get lucky. You too. Let's get the chat closed out. Then I'll cover whatever. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and keep on this. We're really going to go past six. See if we hit on top. Sign in blood. I will take that. Card draw. Yes, indeed. And we're losing life. Beautiful. Love it. All right, we're playing Gonti, Lord of Luxury. He is Death Touch. Whenever Gonti enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of target opponent's library. We may exile one of those face down. Spend our manas on any color to cast that spell. Playing its Child of Lara. Creepy baby. Probably one of my least favorite card arts in the history of magic. It is. It's a weird looking card, man. Let's go for Sign and Blood and then I'll we'll kinda of break down Child of Alara. It's just really creepy to me. Oh, double swamp. Hey, I'll take that. That'll be Thrain Dynamo next turn. Uh we could go for Gonzi, but yeah, we're okay with maybe uh, getting out of Thrain Dynamo. Maybe we draw into Panharmonicon. You always kinda of wanna wait on the side of the road for Panharmonicon. Okay, and then I'll cover ooh, hit another swamp. Let's go get that down. And then yeah, we're gonna go to pass turn. Yeah, Child of Alara. Child of Alara has Trample. Why does a baby have Trample? I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Uh, when Child of Alara dies, destroy all non-land permanents. Why wouldn't a baby die? Would you destroy all non-land permanents? I don't know. That doesn't make sense. And then they can't be regenerated. Okay. But yeah, look at the card art. That's just... I don't know. It makes me feel uneasy. <laughs> it's just a weird-looking card. <laughs> I don't know. It's just creepy. Look at it. I feel like she's staring at us. Let's make this just a little... Everyone knows what Child of Alara does. We're just going to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. That way it just kind of looks like a little fireball over there or something. Do we want to go for Gonti right now? If we go through Dynamo, that'll be... Um, that'll be four, seven, eight. We'll have eight mana next turn. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get Gonti down. That way if we do go for one of the board wipes, if we get Megas the Coffers next turn, then we can follow up with Thran Dynamo. Let's see what's on top of the library. Let's see if we can't steal anything from the Creepy Baby. Give us something good, Creepy Baby. Alright, what do we got? Vivid Crab, we got three lands, and um, we got the Archer. Okay. Yeah, that sounds enticing. Let's take the Archer. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go and pass turn. That's probably one of the uh, the least exciting Gonti triggers I've ever had. But hey, we got an ally archer. We've got ourselves a nice little... Maybe this is an ally dex over here. This sounds pretty cool. Maybe that, if that's what it is. We'll have some fun. All right, opponent's tapping out for four. Um, may go for a Thran Dynamo next turn. Then we'll be online for Megas of the Coffers. Start tapping for that. Or if we get down the swamp, we can just simply just go for the Megas of the Coffers. Okay, rogue ally. Enters the battle under your control. Target player reveals any number of cards from their hand. Um, yeah, target player reveals... You choose one of them... That player discards that card. I guess we'll just go ahead and... we got Black Sun. I'd like to kind of hold on to both board wives if we're going allies. Allies gets pretty crazy. Let's just go ahead and reveal a swamp. And then, hey, here you go. Audio swamp. We have another one. And we can get down the Magus of the Coffer, so we're okay. Night's Whisper. Let's go and get the swamp down. Um, do we want to swing in for two? We, no, we can just stop them from blocking in, coming in hot. Let's go get down Magus of the Coffers. And the next turn, uh, we'll have Thran Dynamo. We have five swamps. We can add two of that to our mana pool with the coffers. Get down the Thran Dynamo, go for a little bit of uh, Night's Whisper. And then if we need to get down the Archer to kind of stop the allies from swinging in, kind of have our own little ally, then we can kind of go from there. <laughs> But yes, welcome to some Gonti. If this is your first time seeing Gonti, welcome. Uh, what are we doing with Gonti? Gonti is, uh, we're here just to steal stuff. And what makes Gonti so fun is that his Enter the Battlefield ability uh, is just basically makes our opponent's deck an exten extension of our deck. Sorry about that. Let me take a drink of water. Hold on. The mouth gets a little uh, tongue-tied, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, so... But with Gonti, basically, he makes our opponent's deck an extension of our deck, which is really nice. So, a little bit of extra card advantage because, uh, hey, Black's all about uh, losing life, drawing cards, having some fun, getting some nice stuff out there. And that's what we're going to go for. And, uh, you know, if you never played against allies, allies gets pretty out of hand pretty quick. Especially if this is five-color allies uh, with the creepy baby leading up the, uh, leading up the pack. And we're just very slowly going to scoot her away so we don't have to look at that. 
And oh, that that uh, geek thief. Yeah, we're gonna have to let's kind of get rid of that. Um, so if we go for let's go ahead and show that mutilate. That way we can leave the the coffers out there. Oh, we equal to the number of creatures out there. Okay. Excuse me, I, miss, I, I, I forgot that that triggered every time an ally comes down. And then you may gain life equal to the number of allies you control. Um, let's go ahead and if we show the Knights of Whisper, they'll probably take the Mutilate, and then we'll just go for Black Sun Zenith. No, they don't go for it. Okay, I'll take that. I will take that. And then we can add that double mana Darmana pool and kind of clean up that. At least that one dude on there. We need to take care of that. All right, so let's add... Let's go for three and dynamo. We're going to get down three and dynamo. Let's go and go for Black Sun Zenith for two. And then, yeah, one, two. Because that'll take care of. Gonti will go down to one, three. And then when Megas will still be a two, two. It'll take care. Maybe we need to take care of the thief over there. And then we can get our, uh, get our nice little. Uh, get the archer out there. Why not? Let's have some fun. Get this rocking and rolling. Actually, let's just tap the Thran Dynamo. Okay. And then, yeah, we're going to go and pass through. Oh, we could te technically, we could have swung in first and gone for that, but um, sometimes when you're doing commentary and when you're trying to make sure you're setting up mana stuff and sequencing stuff like that, you know, just two po every point of damage does matter at the end of the game. But on that one, I was just trying to get it over so we can get back to commentary. Okay. I've got the Karanos. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> They're going to be able to blast the Megas of the Coffers, but we're in a good spot. Uh, Megas of the Coffers is, uh, you know, we've got Thrain Dynamo down, which really does help. Expedition map. Let's go and get that down. And let's go and swing in for three. I think that sounds good. Yeah, let's go and swing in for three. We don't really have anything to kind of take advantage of the uh, the mana right now, so we're going to go and swing in for three. And then if Megas of the Coffer does end up dying, uh, we have the Expedition map. Do we make the lane drop for the turn? We did not. Let's go and get the uh, get the crack on the expedition map, and let's go and grab the coffers. That sounds good. We've got yeah, we've got like six lanes out there. Get that down. Anything else? No, we're good. Okay, so we can't get into spots. Where, you know, right now we don't really have that good of a board state. We just have a little elvish archer dude, and we have a magus of the coffer. But we have a uh, cabal coffers. I cannot tell you how many times if you've watched my videos for a long time. There's Cabal Therapy, and I know how to say Cabal Therapy correctly, but when I would put Cabal Coffers in here, I would call it Cabal, Cabal Coffers, and I don't know why I would do that, and still to this day, every time I get down Cabal Coffers, I have to stop for a second and think about it, <laughs> just to make sure I'm saying it right. I don't know why I would call it Cabal. I finally, finally one day, I guess we had reached the saturation point of viewership. I had two or three comments that were like, it's Cabal, Cabal Coffers. Which is fine. You know if I'm saying something wrong, that is irritating. That <laughs> hey man, I've been watching a video where they say something wrong, and that's all you can just that's all you zone in on. And so <laughs> when that guy pointed out to me, I'm like, okay. But I just want you to know as a viewer that I still, for some reason, I just want to call it Cavill. And I still, I always, I always have to pause for a second, and be like, Are, is this what we've got going on? Is this what we want to do? Animate dead. Okay. So we can animate dead on the elder. Die. Search your library for two basics. We can draw a card. We have the thief. We could technically bring the thief back and start getting some allies going with Gonti. But no, we, yeah, it's going to be hard for us to kind of keep sacking Gonti. But we can draw two cards. Draw a card off the Elder. Let's go on Anime Dead. I like this. Let's go on the Elder. We just don't, we don't, have, we ain't got much going on right now. We just need a little bit of card draw going. Animate Dead on the Elder. We can grab a few more basics off that. And then let's go ahead and uh, pay two. We're going to draw a card. It's going to go back. Search your library for two basics, which I'm okay with. We'll put on the battlefield. Or I think they go into our hands. Yeah. Double swamp. Let's kind of click. Didn't really matter which ones. They're all the same. We're going to draw another card. Grave Titan. Beautiful. Beautiful draw. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's go coffers. Tap for one more. Let's go Grave Titan. Let's get the beat sticks going. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Let's go and swing in with the Archer. 
That was beautiful. <laughs> I knew uh, Grave Titan was on top, and that's why we went for the Yavi My Elder. Now, what you need to get some stuff rocking and rolling. They've got the, the Crusade out there, and they've got Karanos. Um, it's going to be hard for them to turn on Devotion for Karanos, uh, but at this point right now, um, we're okay. Okay, what is the reveal? We've got the... They did get the Misty down. Yeah, they cracked the Misty, and they do have double planes. Three damage to the Magus Coffers. That is okay. We'll take that. And let's double check. So we got the Pyromancer. Whenever it... The Pyromancer or another ally enters the battlefield, you may have it uh, deal damage to target creature equal to the number of allies you control. So, thankful for us, um, we have, uh, there's only about uh, one ally on the, the battlefield, which would be their little commander out there. When that one enters the battlefield, um, under your control, pay one if you do create a green plant token. Okay. And then do they have enough mana to get down? That's going to be one, two, three, four. Not going to have enough mana to go for the Pyromancer. But that will get uh, target creature. Yeah, to target creature. That will get pretty. Uh, that's some some pyro uh, pyro flames right there. All right, to get the crusade rocking and rolling. That's going to be one counter on the plant token and another counter on the grove tinder, which is a five five body. Let's see if they have another ally to get out. If not, then we're just going to go ahead and swing in with grave titan and get some bodies on the battlefield. Worst comes to worst, we have one two three four five six seven. We're going to have eight swamps. If we want to do a reset and just swing in and cross the board, that way we can get a few more gaunty triggers going. Um, there's still some value stuff like Kyrados and Thassa, so um, hopefully we just don't hit on just strictly a uh, a uh, ally token. That wouldn't be that fun. Yahini's Expertise. Okay. Let's go and get that down. Alright. So, let's just go ahead and swing in on this one. We're going to be going for a Mutilate here pretty soon. Hopefully, they'll drag this the Pyromancer out, then we can kind of catch the Pyromancer off the Crusade. Um, we can always follow up with them. We've got eight Swamps right now, so it's going to be really hard for them to get past that. Yeah, let's just go and push in on this one. Uh, swing in with Gonti. Get the Archer, Grave Titan, Grave Titan. I mean, Grave Titan, Devil Zombies. We're going to get two more zombies on the battlefield. Coming in hot. I'm just going to swing it in. So some chump blocks they can go for would be on a Gonti. They may not go for the block on Gonti. It's just a 0-1 body. Um, but hopefully, you know, maybe they would block on it and we get to recast it. Uh, but we're looking at a Mutilate and a Yahini's Expertise coming down the road pretty quick, so... And then we get into spots where we can get down Gonti and start getting those triggers going. Anything else? See, he needs expertise. It'll be minus three, which will not take care of the Grove Tender, but it'll be all creatures getting minus three. And we're okay with getting another swing in with the zombies. I mean, we push in with Grave Titan and get two more zombies on the battlefield. If they go for the Pyromancer, they're going to have to have a few more allies to really take advantage of it. So at this point right now, we can just go Grave Titan Beat Sticks, which always feels really good. Okay, Wood Elves. Enters the battlefield, such a library for Forest Card. So we've got <laughs> Karanos is striking down that poor little zombie. <laughs> the zombie finally fell out of Grave Titan's belly. He's ready to show up, put in a hard day of work, and then Karanos just struck him down from his little cloud over there. Boom. Audio zombie. <laughs> That's what makes magic fun sometimes. You get to stop for a second and think about what just happened. So Karanos, we got a zombie, just fell out of Grave Titan's belly. Look, you can see the zombies falling out of the belly. And then that got on the battlefield, so that zombie, he's really happy for his first day of work, and then Karanos said, boom. I'm going to throw a lightning bolt at you. Happy <laughs> happy first day of work. <laughs> Here's a welcoming present. Boom. There you go. All right. Now, with the Crusade coming down, this is the uh, the Grove Tender Druids. They are sitting at a 6-6. Six, six. Um, we are sitting at 8 Swamps. So that's going to be minus 8, minus 8, which will definitely take care of their creatures. So if they get a few more allies out there, then they'll go for that. Uh, then we're going to cross the Wood Elves off. Kind of keep that up over there. They still have the Pyromancer in the hands. Um I love that card. This flavor text is pretty cool. Not flavor text, but, uh, well, flavor text, I don't know. What is it? Fire is my accomplice. For enough coin, it can be yours as well. It's pretty cool. Okay, got the res uh, Resolute Blade Master. Or another ally. Creatures you control again. Double strike until end of turn. Okay. So we're going to go for double strike. Get the crusade going. This may be a good opportunity for us to go for that mutilate. Um, you know, double strike 7-7 seven, seven is pretty pretty enticing. I'm going to pay for one. That'll make it an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, that way it'll be just enough to kind of clear the entire board out. We can swing in. Um, if we want to, we can let them swing in for double strike. If not, we can just kind of jump block on one little zombie token. And then mutilate will be enough to kind of clean it up. They've gotten enough stuff out there to where we can go for that mutilate. And then anything... Okay, they do not swing in. So we're still going to go ahead and push in on this one. Swamp. Let's go and get the swamp down. That kind of gives us a nice little buffer. Um, yeah, let's just go and push in. Swinging in hot. They have four creatures. We're going to have four bodies coming across. And then, um, you know, we'll go and swing in with Gonti. Then maybe go for Gonti uh, next turn. Get those two extra zombies on the battlefield. 
All right, plant token on that. You got the wood elves blocking on the zombie. And you get the grove tender druids cleaning up. Okay. Now, we go for Yehini's expertise. We catch the resolute, we catch the wood elves, and then we're left with grove tender. But they're going to keep making tokens and keep going for the crusade. So let's go and go for mutilate. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I meant to mute the mic on that one. Uh, but yeah, so Yehini's expertise would take care of the wood elves in that one, but it will not take care of the grove tender. So let's go and go for mutilate, and then we can recast Gonti. So let's go and let's get the coffers rocking and rolling. Let's go for mutilate. Let's get Gonti back up. Let's go for Gonti. Do one, two, three. Tap for one more. Look at the top four cards. See if there's anything good in there. Reclamation Sage. Ooh, Reclamation Sage sounds pretty good. We can destroy their Crusade and kind of cut them off the extra one. Yeah, let's go for the Reclamation Sage. We can just go and cast that now. Let's go and flash it in. Not flash it in, just cast it. Let's go and blow up the Crusade. That way we turn them off that extra token generating ability. Yes, we're going to use that ability. And then anything else, we have Yehini's Expertise. No, we're good. Good to go. All we really need now is a little bit of card draw. If we can get some card draw going, then we can kind of get a few more stuff going with Gonti. We do have Ghastly Conscription in our deck, which is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Send those triggers over to Gonti. Yes, Karanos. Yes. <laughs> Okay, our opponent draws a <laughs> Seascape, Aerialist, uh, enters the battlefield, uh, target ally gains flying till end of control, end of turn. Um, we do have Yahini's Expertise, which is really nice. We can kind of do a little bit of cleanup duty. But if we draw into Hedonist Trove, we'll get some nice little... Well, Hedonist Trove would be nice, but if we go for the Ghastly Conscriptions, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... Yeah, we'll have some nice little uh, assortment of creatures out there. All right, so we've got the Pyromancer coming down, just three damage to uh, poor Reclamation Sage, little Cell Sword Reclamation Sage. Now, as far as mana goes, we're just doing good on mana. We've got Coffers, we've got Thran Dynamo, uh, our opponent just blasted Gonti, which is really good. I like that, instead of sending it over there. Uh, let's go and go for the Swamp. And then if we go for Yehini's Expertise, we'll take care of the Pyromancer, but they're not really going to gain a buff right now, and we'll be able to catch that one too, and take care of Gonti. So let's go and go for a Gonti again. Why not? Pay for one more. There we go, 10 mana. Let's go Gonti. Well, two mana left over. That's a good thing about Gonti. If they keep blasting Gonti, well, you know, we eventually we'll get into spots where we can't really take advantage of it. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Is that a right of replication that I see? Mm -mm 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 -mm. That sounds pretty good. Let's grab that uh, right of replication. All right, so we're going to grab that. So we can, and we should get enough triggers for that to target creature. That'll be a nice little board state for us. A bunch of three twos. It'll be five of them. Is that what we want to go for? Gains flying. Yeah, that'll be a nice way for us to kind of close it out. Yeah, let's go for it. We, we need to get something rocking and roll. We'll cast it with the five kicker. We're going to choose the, um, well, technically, okay, here's the deal. So we can go Gaunty, get a bunch of Gaunty triggers, but if we go with the Pyromancer, uh, we're going to get a, just have a nice little board state. There's going to be five of those. It's going to be 15. That'll give us a nice clock. We're going to get picked off by Kyranos. <sighs> let's go Gaunty. We're here to have some fun. Let's cast with a five kicker. We can get a bunch of Gonti triggers. Yeah, we're going Gonti. We gotta have some fun on this one. Sorry, guys. The better play would probably be go for the Pyromancer, but <laughs> man, kind of wanna. I wanna get some uh, get some triggers going. Okay, choose which Gonti keep. We're gonna keep our keep our OG Gonti. All right, there we go. <laughs> okay, yeah, I like this a lot better. This is a lot more fun. All right, we can build our own little ally board. We have a plus one counter on it. Um, Dies, search for a basic Zulaport Cutthroat, and the in each player loses one life and you gain one life. That'll be a nice little flyer. Um, do we want the Raptor? Let's go for the Raptor. I mean, the Emissary. We've got Sword, we've got the Battle Slinger. Oh, yeah, we're going for Battle Slinger. We can get into spots where we can build ourselves a nice little ally deck. Yeah, I like that. Battle Sl uh, Sun Titan, start bringing back Animate Dead. Kind of like we have a ton of mana to go for that. Gurus pack leader. Let's go Sun Titan. We've got the Juga. Can't block. Enters the battlefield. Let me put a plus one counter on it. Yeah, we can get a little Aristocrats in there too. And then Genesis Wave. Oh man, we're yeah we're going Genesis Wave. 
Yeah, we got a good Genesis wave. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, let's go Genesis wave. Okay. Um, anything else? We do have four mana we can tap out for. Do we want to go Yahini's Expertise? Um, let's just go ahead and pass the turn. That's going to be four total mana. Shout out to our opponent for being really patient on this one. I'm trying to think if we want to sequence some stuff together on these allies. You know, can they blast one of the allies? We gain one life, they lose one life. They're going to gain haste. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's go and at least get the get the healer down. If they want to blast it, they can. Maybe they don't go for Gonti. Okay. Okay, I'm glad we didn't go for the Pyromancer. That was really fun. So as far as mana goes, uh, let's kind of re-rack on how much mana we've got. Karanos Trigger, let's see if they're going to choose Gonti or the healer. At this point right now, okay, they're going to go for the healer. They caught on to our game plan. All right, now. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 mana. Um, that's going to be 8, um, 18. And then we have 21 off the 3 and Dynamo. So we're looking at a Genesis Wave for about 20. Let's go for Genesis Wave next turn. We can just reveal a bunch of stuff. Um, we still have Yahini's Expertise with a bunch of uh, these, um, these creatures out here. They're not that enticing at this point right now. So we can go for that and then uh, kind of get some stuff rocking and rolling. That sounds pretty good. And then I like Suntine. I like Suntine on this one. We get Suntine out, return target paddle uh, permanent. We do have Animate Dead out of the graveyard. We can start putting it on their value creatures and start bringing those creatures back. And that sounds like a lot of fun. What would be good for us? Target ally against double strike. We can bring back Reclamation Sage. Okay, Lantern Scout. Creatures you control gain life. Link until end of turn. Yeah, let, let's see if we can't bust a big Genesis wave next turn. That sounds good. We hit Fright of Replication. Let's go for Genesis Wave. That's what we're going for. Uh, it's at this point in the game to where, you know, win or lose. I just want to, hey, it's fun busting a really big Genesis. We do need to watch out for the clock, though, because our opponent's sitting at 16. We are at 12, so that is something we need to watch out for. Okay, we're recording. I always get nervous when a video's going really well, and then we get into a spot to where <laughs> we've gotten to that point in the game where I'm like, hey, is this exactly what we want to go for? I'm uh, not exactly what we want to go for. Like, did I hit the record button? <laughs> Need to make sure. Let's go for a Genesis Wave. Let's have some fun. Ooh, and we get another Swamp to kind of amplify it out. Love it. All right, let's tap the coffers. One, two. And I'm sure our opponent is just... Can't wait. What did our opponent steal? <laughs> yeah, they're, I'm sure they're just absolutely thrilled. Okay, so we got Genesis Wave for 20. We tapped all of our mana. <laughs> oh, yes. Doesn't look that crazy. Well, that Whispering one. This is pretty good. Massacre Worm. Oh, yeah, this is pretty good. Um, I guess put him on the battlefield. It doesn't matter. Let's go Swamp. 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 We're going to have Shriek Maw coming in across. Minion Reflector. Uh, Temple of the False God will be online. Erborg, Erebos, McKay. I didn't know if there's any certain way we need to sequence it, but yeah, this is good. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Genesis Way for 20 with Gaunti. Yes. Click on the swamp, and then we have Shriek Maw clicked. That is green, 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 green. Yeah. Holy triggers, Batman. Click an aura. Let's go ahead and put the... Let's put that on this um, swamp. I guess we can't attach it to one of the lanes that came in. We'll just put it on this one right here. Okay, Minion Reflector. Let's go ahead and get the Minion Reflector. Minion Reflector... So we're going to have the Shriek Maw. Let's go and target the Pyromancer. Just short target on Artifact Black Creature. Massacre Worm. They're going to get minus two, minus two. And then opponent loses life. Destroy target creature. Who? This is targeting Shriek Maw. Do you wanna, no, we're not going to pay for that. Minion Reflector on Erebos. Not going to pay for that. Minion Reflector on... Yes, we'll go and pay for that. That will get an extra one. Yes. Get two of those triggers. And then Minion Reflector on McKay's, which we do not need to go for. Okay, not going to pay for that. Okay, anything else? So now we have Temple of the False God online. Pay two life, can bring something back to hand. And we hit Army the Dead out of the graveyard. Beautiful. Anything else we need to go for? Uh, no. We can go for an Erebos activation. We can do it on our turn. Um... And then to add insult to injury, we've got a few more. Let's go and get the emissary down. 
and then we don't want to pay two on that one. No. So we can actually go for a Kiri and pay for that and kind of gives a nice little, yeah, we're, we're good. Okay. Undying comes back, but there's nothing. Okay. So they get the thoughts. Of, hey, major props to our opponent for sticking this one out. I do appreciate that. Um, but our opponent's sitting at 17. We've got a nice little beautiful board state. Um, they can go for They want to take care of Drana. They can get rid of Drana. But we've got uh, at least 13 coming across. Uh, we've got 18 and then uh, 22 coming across with uh, our total. All right, Shriek Maw, Undying is going to come back. Destroy target non-black creature, which is no non-black creatures. The first to choose from, whenever, um, and then minion reflector. I'm gonna pay for two now. We're good. Okay, so it hasn't dying, and we still have persist, but it looks like our opponent's kind of kicking it over. We can get the allies down. Well, yeah, we'll go and go for it. Why not? You know, may maybe they have a fog effect or something, so it'd be good. <laughs> what the heck? Oh no. Oh no. I guess our opponent uh, missed something. Or maybe they misclicked on something. They kind of cycled through there. Maybe they accidentally hit F6 or something. Ah. Bummer, man. They meant to cast something. Sorry about that, buddy. That's not fun. All right, so we got the Drana's Emissary. We're just going to go and swing in. Let's go and get the Swamp down. Go and come in hot. This has been a beautiful Gaunti game. I will take that. We're down to nine minutes, and props to our opponent for allowing us to kind of... Uh, kind of cycle through this game. Go down to negative 10. I'm not sure what our opponent's going to cast out there. Maybe they're going to go for Child of Alara. Um, but we would have had Cauldron of Souls to get down and give them Persist, even if they had found a way to kind of sacrifice it. So, but that was a beautiful Gaunti game. I am so glad that we went for Rite of Replication on Gaunti over the... Uh, in my head, I was thinking that the Pyromancer would deal damage equal to a, a player. Then I remembered that it had creatures, only creatures, and they did not sound that good. And so we went for the Rite of Replication on Gaunti. And that was a beautiful little showing Genesis wave. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. All right, everybody. Happy Black Friday. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.